Welcome back from that break. And now onto the business scene. The Ugandan population is increasingly being threatened by ailments as a result of poor use of agrochemicals. According to Senior Agriculture Officer Francis Sozi Buyondo, poor exposure to most of these chemicals is very dangerous. Sasakawa Africa Association, in partnership with Makere University, have embarked on a countrywide training campaign of agro-input stockists and extension officers to mitigate the adverse effects of misuse to the farmers. Uh, the farmers who use the pesticides. Pesticides are extremely dangerous. Mishandling agrochemicals is one of the challenges farmers are facing. Input dealers and farmers are at risk of contracting deadly ailments as they continue getting exposed to dangerous agrochemicals. According to Francis Sozi Wiondo, a retired senior agriculture officer, there is concern over the continued misuse of the chemicals and causing irreversible damages to human health and the plants and animals. So mothers should take care. Don't sit where chemicals are. Be well protected. Wear personal protective clothing. It is important. If you have a skirt and you are applying chemicals, it is easy for the chemical to go upward into the system and it will get with the kid inside the, the stomach. Sozi Buyondo says a lot needs to be done to save the human race from deaths due to misuse of agriculture chemicals. The Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Sasakawa Africa Association Uganda and Makerere University are in partnership to address quality issues and also to strengthen inspection in a training conducted in Lira City. So safe use people have been misusing chemicals so much, faking and all what have you. That's why Sasaka Africa Association we have come we have come together with the Minister of Agriculture, the local government, Makerere University to make sure that we are able to skill uh, agro input stockists, making sure that the farmers are able to access quality input. A senior agriculture inspector at the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Fred Muzira, said the exercise is intended to address both health, environmental hazards, as well as the rise in counterfeits. And the idea is that the dealer is trained because it's a part of extensions is going to advise the farmer to, to get down. But also moving forward on the issues of quality like we've been talking, the, the ministry is planning quite a number of things. Uh, the, 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 the PS is looking at collaborative mechanisms on how we one, technically backstop the extension staff, our colleagues are at, the, 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 at, at, ex, at the, the local governments, to make sure that we are, we are collaborating in the fight against some of these quality issues. Over the last years, Uganda has realized a rise in the number of cancer cases, reproductive health challenges, and long-term health issues. This comes in the wake of repeated ban of Ugandan produce by other countries attributed to high residual chemicals. And shame, some of these guys who are um, masquerading and bring these chemicals that are going to harm us, then we, you know, the repercussions will come back to all of us. So we have to work together and also keep encouraging the farmers that buy products. Don't buy products from people who are hawking them. Very important. Buy products from a person who has a permanent shop that has a signpost. The week-long training attracted input dealers and extension staff from over five districts in Uganda who received certificates in safe pesticide handling and application course. Uh, the training I've obtained today on safe use of agrochemicals will help me to advise farmers very well on the safety of the environment, the safety of the food we are going to eat, and the safety of our community. Marion Awori and Douglas Setumba for UBC.